What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Stout Heart TV. I am your host Robbie and today this episode is all about the 511 Amp 24 backpack. Now, this is not a normal review for this backpack because there are tons of them out there. Being what, you know, looking at what you search to get to this video, you want to know if this bag is good for photography. And I try to, to find out the same information as you prior to purchasing this bag and I couldn't really find anything. There are some other um, reviews about 511 bags for photography, such as the Rush series and things like that, but nothing necessarily just for the Amp 24. And so I have the Amp 24 in the Geo 7 colorway. Currently it's on sale through 511 because I guess they discontinued the, the camo pattern. And uh, I picked this up for $99. Now I have the helmet shove it um, missions attachment on the front and that of course attaches with Velcro to the back side. <clears throat> now, like I said, not a normal review. You really want to get into the main component of photography. So what I did was I modified this bag just a little bit. You don't have to cut the bag, you don't have to do anything like that. All you have to do is add a little bit of material to the sides to make it a suitable photography bag, at least in my opinion. So what I did to make this bag suitable for my photography level is I added a little bit of material. So on the insides of this bag right here, you have two of these side pockets, right? And they connect from the back of the bag right here. And in that side pocket, there's a little sleeve. I guess people put now jeans, water bottles, things like that in there. What I did was I cut out, and it's the perfect time of year because it is election season. Uh, be sure to get out there and vote if you do that. And what I did was I took a election sign, one that was kind of trashed on the side of the road, uh, and I cut it. And I cut it to the average shape of the side pocket of this bag as you can tell right here it kind of looks like the side and I doubled it up and what that did was it allowed me to create one second for me to get this back in there Ooh. all right now that that's back in there it allowed me to create a semi-hard shell for the side of this bag. Now, when you normally get this bag in the store or when you first get it, it is able to compress like any other tactical bag to make it uh, slim, streamlined, that sort of thing. And I didn't want that because I wanted the ability to put my camera in and I'm filming on a Canon M50 on a Joby 3K tripod with a microphone attachment. So it is kind of a big, you know, setup for normally fitting in a bag. And on the inside here, I have the hex grid attachment that attaches just like the front of this bag with the Velcro and the attachments at the top. And what that allows me to do is I can set my tripod and my camera right inside here and leave it set up, right? Because the hardest thing about, I guess, being a content creator and being a person who really needs to just whip out their camera and film is putting everything together prior to doing that. And yeah, you could carry your, your camera around right in front of you and you know have it out all the time, but then there's damage there's worries of theft, of course, if you leave it sitting on the table, things like that. Because it allows you to leave your camera set up. And what I'm going to do here in a minute is I'm going to swap out my camera uh, and use a different one to film the rest of this. But um, one thing I can tell you, at least what I have packed in my bag, and uh, kind of give you an idea of how I pack it in here. And like I said, this is a giant bag, at least enough for me. And if you really think about it, when it comes down to camera bags, you have a few options, right? You have your low pro bags, um, <clears throat> your generic camera bags, 
and then you have your Peak Design bags. All of them are great. Peak Design, of course, being one of the most expensive bags um, that I've found on the market, at least, uh, that you can buy, say, in a local Best Buy or things like that. The only thing is, it's built just for cameras. There's nothing wrong with that, but if you're a person like me, you like to carry other things around with you and you just have to have that other auxiliary space to use for stuff. So both sides of this have the uh, that corrugated plastic um, hard shell or semi hard shell. On the inside of this one here, I keep a Bluetooth keyboard, nothing super fancy, but it connects to my phone and as well as my laptop and my desktop at home gives you three different functions. On the other side, in this pocket here, I keep a GoPro Max and the Max Grip tripod, which I'll be switching to in just a minute so you can see how my other camera fits in. And that provides just a little bit of, you know, that side panel provides just a little bit more protection for an action camera. Um, Back here, I've got a first aid and trauma kit. I think most people should be carrying those around with them. If you don't, that's okay too. But I just like to be prepared because my wife and I have a five-year-old son and you never know what's gonna happen. In the bottom of this bag here, I have just another Molly pouch with a uh, LED light that attaches to my camera setup. CPR face mask, because why not? <clears throat> Inside here, I have medication, zip ties, uh, trash bags in the front. In the shove-it pouch, I keep a beanie, and normally my jacket goes on there as well. One other thing is I keep Sharpies, all different colors, and pens, and SD card holder, and phone stand. So, one of the things about my Sharpies is I have the bigger versions of them is I like to take my Sharpies and I have this one wrapped in a lime green duct tape. Every other color Sharpie in here has some type of tape or some type of wrapping around it just so I have it in case I need it. Um, because I have been in situations where somebody has asked me for tape or I've had to fix gear on the go or Something happens with the car and you have to, I don't know, hold your muffler up. Whatever it may be, it's always good to have something, you know, prepared. Well, on the other side, I have the GoPro case that the Max came in. That has the batteries for it, a uh, Type-C hub for my phone, so I can use Samsung DeX, and various different batteries and battery packs, as well as a uh, solid state drive to carry with me on the go. All right, so back to this bag. Inside here, like I said, you have your shove -it pouch. You have your, if you do conceal carry, I currently do not. Um, you have a concealed carry pouch here right in the front. You have a sungla sunglasses holder in the top, as well as your inside panel. And the cool thing about the AMP series is, or yeah, the AMP series in general is, you can get all the different missions attachments. So this is the hex grid attachment. They have a nine by nine utility, uh, which is kind of just more space. You can attach it inside or on the outside of your bag, just like the, uh, the other two here. They have an admin panel, which is something you can keep pens, pencils, notebooks, things like that in. Um, they also have, let's see, I'm not sure what's, what that one's called. It's the, it has two pouches that disconnect uh, in the middle on their two separate entities. Uh, on the back side of this bag, it is a rather hard shell case, uh, very firm to where I'm not too worried about my camera or the bag itself being bent in half. Um, and then you have a nice laptop sleeve that I know at least my 13 inch laptop, 14 inch laptop will fit in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and switch to the other camera, bring it up a little bit closer, and I'm going to reattach everything back in the bag. That way you can see exactly how I keep it stored. 
All right, so we are now up and close. Sorry if I am super bright. I just wanted to set a light up that way you could actually see inside the bag because it is a, um, it's a light colored interior, but with all the shadows I have in here, it's kind of tough. So one thing that you can actually see as I move this camera is my actual setup. So I've got my Canon M50 with the Rode Video Micro my Joby tripod with attachments, the medic kit, my camera accessories pack, and all of that fits snugly inside this bag. And I have enough stuff in the front of this bag um, to remain stable and not put any pressure on my camera. Of course, I keep a lens cover on it and I keep the actual GoPro I'm, GoPro I'm using now in the side pocket here. Um, but I will say, oh, stuff's falling out now, that as a camera bag, I would highly recommend it over, you know, one of the other uh, more expensive bags, just because you get so much more with it and you have so many more attachments. You have the Molly feature on the inside if you want it. You can have the Molly feature on the outside, additional packs things like that, and you can continue to expand this bag. When you purchase a camera bag, for the most part, you don't have that option. So if you need to pack light, that's totally fine. You can do that with most camera bags. You can do that with this bag. But the moment you need to start carrying more gear is the moment you have to start adding more and more bags to what you are normally carrying or taking with you on a trip. This, you can have further attachments and things like that. In my day to day, I am a professional photographer. I do studio work, I do outdoor work, and this is just my everyday carry, no matter where I am. Because one, I think, you know, other than your cell phone, if you're a photographer or videographer, for the most part, you're used to carrying your gear around with you, so I do it anyways. Um, but it's super easy to take family videos, if something happens and you really want to catch it on film and you don't want to use your cell phone, it's always good to carry your camera with you. If you are a daily vlogger or someone who creates content, it's also always good to keep your camera with you. Um, so I don't want to ramble on too much about having a camera with you, but at the same time, I think this bag is a great option when it comes to a photography setup if you set it up right. Um, you don't have to use the corrugated plastic, but you should be finding something um, that is suitable to make the sides of this bag more firm and not soft. That way your camera equipment doesn't get crushed. Um, of course, the benefit of having a camera bag over this one is you don't have to worry about that, but you don't get the expandability. Um, one other option you could use with this bag, it may make a little bit more uh, hassle getting your camera gear in and out of your bag is a camera cube. Um, I'm pretty sure Peak Design makes a few. There's a few floating around on Amazon currently um, that would fit perfectly in this bag, whether it be one of the larger ones or one of these smaller, um, you know, square cubes. Uh, I believe they may even have one that would cover the majority of this bag and give you all of your dividers. Um, but I hope that answers your questions about the uh, 511 Amp 24 backpack as a camera bag. Um, do I recommend it? Yes. Would I go back to another camera bag from this one? No. Would I expand to say the Amp 72? I don't know. I don't have much hands on that. Um, you know, hands on with that bag. I would say it's probably a little too big um, for a camera bag. That way you don't have to worry about um, building out the sides. Um, as far as the Amp 12 and the Amp 10, I've seen a few people carrying them around um, with camera setups in them, but it all really comes down to preference, what you have to carry with you, what kind of camera gear you have, because um, I have a small mirrorless in there, like I said, and then all the other things that go along with your daily life. Do you need to carry a med pack? Do you need to carry your jacket and your hat and um, snacks and change of clothes and things like that? If so, yes, this is the bag for you. If not, 
you could probably get away with using one of the smaller ones. That's going to wrap it up for us today on Stout Heart TV. Again, I am your host, Rob. If you like what you saw today and you want to see more content like that, more um, you know, subtle reviews or anything on possible uh, photography equipment as well as um, EDC or tactical stuff like that, uh, leave a subscribe below, hit the like button, and comment below. Tell me what you think. Did you pick up an AMP24 bag? Are you going with something different? If you are going with something different or if you found something different that you think would work better, leave it in the comment section so I can check it out. I might be able to review it on the channel. Until next time, stay stout-hearted. Peace.